Nicolette here. I'm a Google Workspace specialist focused on public sector. And today we will be discussing helpful Google Drive shortcuts. You may have noticed that when you receive a file in Drive, there's no longer the add to my drive option. What you will see is the option to add a shortcut. We're replacing files and folders that were stored in multiple locations in Google Drive with Google Drive shortcuts. This change simplifies your folder and file structures and helps reduce confusion around files with multiple parent folder locations. Now, a few key things to note when a file is replaced without a shortcut. One location is preserved for files or folders currently contained in multiple locations. All other instances of that item are going to be replaced with a shortcut. Ownership and sharing permissions for files and folders are going to be preserved. Google Drive shortcuts let you create links or pointers to content that can be stored within another folder or your Google Drive. The original document remains under your control, stored where you like and will always be up to date. This new organizational method is catered towards shared drives, previously what Google called team drives, and helps cut down on making copies that don't stay in sync. Google's goal here is to simplify drive folder structure and sharing models. So let's review how to work with shortcuts. I'll jump into shared with me on the left side of my screen here. I'm gonna scroll down to the Project DeLorean project plan. I wanna add a shortcut to a shared drive that I've created. So it looks like someone shared this project plan with me. I'll right click on it. In the dropdown, I'll choose add shortcut to drive. Notice that I can actually add the shortcut to my drive or shared drive. Since I'm working on Project DeLorean with a team, I'm gonna put it in my shared drive, Project DeLorean. In the lower right, I'll choose add shortcut. Now let's double check. On the left, I'll choose shared drives. Here's the Project DeLorean shared drive, and there's my Project DeLorean project plan. Notice in the lower left of this document, there's a small arrow icon. This is my indication that this is a shortcut to this document. Please remember that even though I place this shortcut in this shared drive, folks that are members of this shared drive will see the document in there, but they won't have access to the document. The owner of this document will still have to share the document with the members of this shared drive. Now let's say I don't want this shortcut in my shared drive anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it and I'll move to trash. Choose the blue move to trash button and I've removed that document from my shared drive. Now I can always go into trash on the left and here's that shortcut. Please note your trash is only gonna live here for 30 days, just like in Gmail. After that, it will be deleted forever. But because this is a shortcut, I wanted to show you where that trash lived for your team drive. Now, don't let this scare you. Let's say you, you know, fat finger slipped in and you actually hit, accidentally hit delete. You can always right click and you can choose the restore option, which will take that shortcut out of your trash and place it back into that shared drive. That was a quick overview of how drive shortcuts help you simplify your folder and file structures. Thank you for joining us today. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our other videos on this playlist to learn about how Google Workspace for Government helps organizations and individuals. And be sure to check out the description below for helpful links and subscribe to the Google Workspace YouTube channel for more updates.